Round two. Yes. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Asian room. Spike some trouble. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to do another video watch along slash reaction to Cowboy Bebop episode six. Yes, yeah, we are already a little bit past the halfway point. Uh, Cowboy Bebop live action. Hey, if you haven't watched one through five, make sure you check it out. And of course, hit that subscription button so that you can get up to date notifications anytime I drop a new one. So we got this coming up, we got some other projects coming up. And if you want to be in the know, that subscription button and a uh, bell icon is going to let you know exactly when it is dropping. Mm. Give me some of that jazzy music. It's Look at this, it's like a, a nice new England town. You're crushed in a hard burn. That is a very attractive mechanic. All over the connectors. 90 okay, million. I know what you're Way to perpetuate the mechanic stereotype. <laughs> Just because it's she a does not look like the mechanic stereotype. True. Your problems are solved. I bet I could grab one refurbished down the street for half my ham sandwich. I bet you could, but the reason that you're grounded is because you probably salvaged this one, right? For a ham sandwich. <laughs> With the ham. Man, you need to be hollering at the mechanic. <laughs> Where do they get the furniture for on this show? Like some old 1960s retro store or something. Julie. That's a good picture of her, though. And it is just the lips. The mechanic has us by the sack hairs. Says we need a new <laughs> stabilizing coil. Which is gonna seriously drain the kitty. It's always something. Yeah. It's so always since we're gonna something. be grinding for a few more hours. Alright. Fine. Hit me. Look Sorry, at that Bob. chair. Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> Whose man's is that? Blitzer MJ Railgun. What's that a scam? This bad boy. Is that That's a real gun? Cool. Yeah. Total scam. It's not a scam. Hey, they changed the theme up a little bit. I heard they're a total scam. <laughs> Why does everybody keep saying that? It's not like this iron here. Yeah. This is more my speed. Yeah, there's nothing here worth taking. Maybe you. Except maybe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Bow, 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 wow. Read your mind. Hello, friend. I'm Beatrice. Welcome to the Landes Center. Uh, hi. I want to see Dr. Landes. Yo, is At that a Landis tape Center, reel in the back? We are all searchers Goodness. on a quest for freedom and harmony a lost love <laughs> all of the above Where do i start <laughs> <laughs> and then landis have a seat friend and <laughs> this is not going to work out well for you <laughs> congratulations friend dr landis awaits you but first take you on a journey oh come on Landis. but first let us take the next 90 minutes to 90 minutes the of our consciousness <laughs> who are you oh I that's julie you. i begged anna to tell me how to find you so that i could warn you warn me they're coming for you today vicious not just him an entire army of them. Oh. Well, goodness. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Right. Bit of Groundhog Day? A little bit of Groundhog Day.
38 percent That's one way to get vaxxed. <laughs> yeah. Please, no. Yuck. Need you to come save the day, man. Spike. You okay, buddy? Don't do that. Can you stop it? Oh, once I rewire the system, it should... Okay, wire it. Yeah. That's still a really long time to go without having an orgasm. <laughs> Bad discovery. Yo, her back oh, tattoo is kind of hot. So you're a bounty hunter. Partner with an ex. Going to him. It's exploiting his emotional tether so it can detach his consciousness from his neural network. AI can get him to give up his emotional tether, then it'll devour his consciousness. And then what? Well, if that happens, he's game over. Good old pseudoscience. Round two. Yes. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> this is the spike's in trouble. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't the emergency, I'm sure you'd have probably popped some popcorn. Make it work. There's no way. Hey, tell me how to help. Spike Spiegel, sucker. Loves and kneecapping people. <laughs> where we are. My husband may do bad things, but you are the psychopath. Dang, that's pretty cold. Including that girl. What girl, Spike? No. Yes. Let's get everything nice and wet. That'll work. We just totally destroyed the bebop, didn't we? Wow. Love you. Goodness, she Never just keep dropping bombs on this poor dude. Meanwhile, he's still murdering. <laughs> There's no way to get in. Break the glass. Stand back. I forgot about the gun. That is a hell of a paperclip. Yeah, that's a good sleep when you sleep with like a full on suit and your shoes on. Yeah. Too loud. Too loud. Well, your head hurt? <laughs> <laughs> What's the first line of every word spell? L O N D E S. Mm. Mm. To lure people in. And before you say anything, just. I told just... you that lead was horse hockey. <laughs> and you're right. I admit it. Good luck with that. I am going to go back to bed. I don't remember. A whole lot of pain, man. Oh, yeah, let's keep this going. So, we just got round to three. Zip and dip. <laughs> but first, you gotta figure out. Oh. 
something to remember me by. And hey, that gun saved Seriously. the day. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> the look on his face. Wow. Are you living in the real world? Oh, well, that's quite cerebral. <laughs> All right, that one might be one of my favorite episodes uh, in the series so far uh, because we got a chance to see Faye do her thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, for more than just that. It was it was fun. You know, these Groundhog, Groundhog Day episodes are, are always a little fun. It's kind of like a trope that's been done over and over again. But, you know, we get a chance to see just how strong-willed Spike is. All right, so this episode also is introducing some some new aspects to the characters of of the Cowboy Bebop, and now we got like this mechanic that has absolutely, um, yeah, changed up Faye's uh, character. She wasn't this completely. Not that it's a problem at all. I approve these relationships. Uh, <laughs> it's a sign of the times. So we got the mechanic who may or may not have another appearance. Um, uh, we also get to be see Jet be Jet. He reminds me of like the like the cheapskate dad that you might have had that turns off every single light in the house all the time, sets his thermostat down to like 50 degrees during the winter because they're trying to save money, and he's not going to pay extra for the uh, for the piece or the part <laughs> that's being used. That was totally going to keep the ship uh, in the air. I'm I'm still loving like the I'm still loving the all, all the throwback stuff. Regarding the, the tape reel, I, I, I haven't seen tape reel storage probably since like the since like the 80s. <laughs> I think they were using tape reel storage and they were launching people to the moon in these old uh, TV screens. Uh, one of the things I noticed is some of the some of the art direction regarding being in the uh, in the Groundhog Day dream space. Everything kind of has like fuzzy edges. Yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. Um, it's kind of like uh, it's me. It's kind of like, like when you're watching The Matrix in the original. That. You knew you were in The Matrix by the green tint that was on the screen. Well, with this one, you can see the, the fuzziness on the edges. That was, that was kind of cool. Yo, uh, the, the thing that remains funny as well is uh, how things can get damaged and hurt. And, and really doesn't matter. Like we saw the Bebop crash land into the planet and it got to Earth in less than like three minutes. Yo, those warp gapes. Or no joke. You know, they bodied the Bebop, and then, like, like two scenes later, it was just kind of, like, A-OK. -okay. You went from, like, having one damaged piece to totally wrecking it and then kind of just, you know, blowing it off, like, whatever. But it's all good fun. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, life observing neutral development emulation system. I saw a quick little hat tip too during one of the uh, not a hat tip, but a quick little uh, Easter egg during one of the shootouts, uh, and there was a monument dedicated to the events that happened for the for the time gates. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, there it is. Uh, in memory of the lives lost in the Earth's astral astral gate accident, uh, their name liveth forevermore. So we haven't really had a full explanation as to why. Uh, the earth is all jacked up and bombarded by meteors. And later on, uh, hopefully they'll give an explanation as to why that happens. I like the tattoo. Look at the gun. Um, the setup with the rail gun, and then it shoots a paper clip that totally explodes everything. <laughs> a little bit of overkill, but it works. Like this one paper clip automatically self-destructs anything like i guess it must have had like a nitroglycerin paperclip or a hairpin that's not paperclip hairpin yo and it just instantly boomed everything <laughs> boom wow yeah, the most dangerous hairpin ever. All right, I'm going to close it out with that. Yo, it's your boy, Sintel with Intel. Thanks for hanging out with me, checking out episode six. If you haven't checked out one through five, yo, hit it up. It's It's been an interesting ride so far. <laughs> for my cowboy diehard enthusiast, it has been a trip down memory lane full of nostalgia. Hey, yo, make sure you hit the subscription button so you know when episode seven is going to drop. That bell icon, I'll let you know. Of course, give us a thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows that you're digging what we 
that you're digging, what we're giving you, and of course, leave some comments. Yo, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.